The Quantum Matter Institute is home to UBC's Quantum Materials and Devices research effort. This comprise of 16 research groups, soon to grow to 20, and is also home to the Max Planck UBC Center for Quantum Materials. Our mission is the preparation, study, control, and application of quantum materials, and also to train tomorrow's leaders in the science and technology of quantum materials. QMI infrastructure includes in-house materials synthesis and characterization, advanced spectroscopies, as well as quantum devices and fabrication. QMI community also enjoys priority access at new SR and synchrotron beam lines at international user facilities. At the Quantum Matter Institute, my goal is to discover new materials with new properties and particularly to look at new electronic properties that emerge at the interfaces between different quantum materials. I'm building microscopes and molecular beam epitaxy systems that will allow me to grow new materials one layer at a time and to image their electronic properties with atomic resolution. One material that I'm particularly excited about recently is iron selenide, a superconductor which in bulk form has a TC below 10 Kelvin, but when grown as a single layer on strontium titanate, it superconducts by an order of magnitude greater temperature up above 100 Kelvin. With our microscope, we've been able to discover a new empty state band in the material, and we've been able to identify a specific defect, a vacancy at the iron site, which could be manipulated to locally affect the superconductivity of the material at the nanoscale. I feel like one of the best things that QMI provides me with is incredible theoretical and technical support and that really lets me focus on the research that I want to do. Also I've had some opportunities to work with our collaborators over at Max Planck and we've been able to do some really exciting research together that neither of us could have done alone. It's been really exciting for me to be here and be exposed to the big picture of what's going on in quantum materials research. QMI came to be starting in 2001 when UBC designated condensed matter sciences as a priority area. This attracted a lot of young scientists, culminating in what was designated as the Quantum Matter Institute in 2010. The greatest aspiration of a theorist like me is to make predictions, non-trivial predictions of phenomena that are then subsequently observed by experiment. QMI really shines in enabling this type of work by putting literally the top experimentalists under the same roof with us theorists. A day-to-day -day contact between experimentalists and theorists then enables these type of predictions. One excellent example of this uh, mode of work is our work with graphene. In collaboration with other theorists at UC Irvine and Caltech, we made a prediction that graphene uh, with a small concentration of uh, non-magnetic heavy atoms becomes a two-dimensional topological insulator. Within a year of this prediction, it has been tested here in the Institute by three different experimental groups. This work then uh, led, uh, led to additional interesting research and motivated uh, some very nice future results. QMI has provided me with tremendous access to different experimental tools, along with strong theoretical support and the opportunity of real collaboration with the best universities all around the world. After such a positive experience during my master's doing ligand field cluster calculations on nuclei perovskites, I became aware of various opportunities and facilities, including Canadian Light Source Laboratory at Saskatoon. So I decided to pursue my PhD at QMI as well and take advantage of those. The collaborations I've had here at QMI have really been instrumental for my research. I think fostering these relationships with uh, several scientists uh, will be essential for my future as a you know, research academic. In 2015, the federal government of Canada recognized QMI as a leading institute with a quantum leap in operational funding of $100 million over seven years. This will support new infrastructure, new scientific staff, providing us with the agility to translate discoveries and device prototyping in new applications and future technologies. I'm excited to be part of the upward trajectory of the Quantum Matter Institute. With the groundbreaking accomplishments of my senior colleagues and the fantastic leadership of Andrea Damaschelli and George Sawatsky, we're really playing on a world stage now. We're really attracting to our beautiful city and our ambitious institute the best and the brightest. We aim to discover the new quantum material that can really change the world. QMI is an exciting place to do research at the very forefront of quantum materials. It is a very collaborative environment 
to the successful integration of experiment and theory as well as research and training. And all interested students, postdoc, faculty and staff are welcome to join us.